Yeah. All right, good. All right, I don't know what's going to happen here. 64? Okay. So, yeah, it does... It does... Every single one of these does double. Oh, my gosh. Please let this happen, opponent. 64 powder kegs? Let's go. And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Karma Kegs. That's fun to say. Um, this is going to be a crazy one-turn kill combo deck. Because, um, you know, who, who doesn't like playing a ridiculous uh, combo that, if it happens, it's just a one-shot? Um, that's what it's going to be. A, a real legitimate one-shot <laughs> with the warning shot. So what we're going to try to do here, how it works is we're going to have Karma. Now, if we are enlightened, we have leveled up Karma, and that's what we need. So if we have leveled up Karma, then it says when you play a spell, you cast it again on the same targets. So we'll first start by casting more powder. Um, we're gonna need like eight mana for this combo. All we have to do is have Karma in play and then have three cards. We're gonna play more powder, summon two powder kegs. But of course, remember, everything's doubled. So instead of two, you get four. So we're gonna have four powder kegs. All right, we got four powder kegs. Now it goes back to us. Now we play Dawn and Dusk on the powder keg. Summon two exact copies of the ally there, Ephemeral. Now, I don't know if this is exactly how it works. I'm hoping it does, because that's what I'm saying. This is how it's going to work, because this was a this was a viewer-submitted donation deck. But I'm just going to assume that this is how it works, because this would be amazing. So we have four powder kegs, and then it's an exact copy. So then you get four more powder kegs. But then you do it twice, because there's two of them. So... You know, so we get eight powder kegs total, so it's 12. But, but now, remember, uh, Karma does have you cast the spell again. So then Dawn and Dusk would cast it again, and so then you add another four and another four, and so you get 20 total powder kegs. That seems like, I don't know if that's exactly how it works. You know, I haven't, you know, I haven't tested it out. Like I said, it was just a viewer submitted donation deck. Um, maybe each time you do it, does it just, like, double up? Like, I guess I could see it doing, instead of it just being four all the time, because your number of powder kegs is changing each time it's targeting it. So I don't know if it'll go to, like, you start with four, then you dawn and dusk, which adds four, so you get to eight, and now your second one, now it looks at it and sees that you have eight, and then it makes it 16. I don't know. But anyway, hopefully we have just a ton of powder kegs, hopefully like 20 powder kegs or something ridiculous, and then we just cast warning shot and finish them off. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna just kind of do it for science, <laughs> of like, you know, see see what happens with all these millions of powder kegs. So, um, see so yeah, why not gangplank instead of twisted fate? Just because twisted fate is just kind of like the the better card and will help us stay alive, right? Because we have to we have to like play good defense and stay alive and all that kind of stuff, um, and try to get to the late game, try to get to have uh, leveled up karma in play. Um, but yeah, we're not really playing any other powder keg type cards besides just the the more powders. Um, so maybe maybe we should have some different other uh, powder keg cards, but I it's, I feel like like we have a good amount of card advantage, right? Like that's what it's about. It's about staying alive, using card advantage, finding your your cards, because we're gonna have like dancing droplet that can draw cards whenever it's recalled. We'll have shadow assassin drawing cards. We're gonna have spray fin um, that will also kind of tutor up some more powder. It's like we'll find more powder, and then hopefully we find a, a dawn and dusk. We also have deep meditation that can help find those kind of cards. And right, and we'll just we're just gonna hold on to those in our hand, and then have leveled up karma, and then boom, then drop the combo. So let's give it a try, karma kegs. This will be yeah, this is gonna be a deck for science. That who knows, like, hopefully it works. I assume it works because it was sent to me to play. So let's give it a try. It's gonna be an interesting experiment. All right, so opponent's playing Maokine Nautilus. We are going to need, like we can send that back. We'll, we'll find it later. We are gonna need Karma. I don't know if I wanna keep Karma in my opener though. We don't need Karma till like round 10. Cause Devour in Depths is gonna be a problem. This is, <laughs> this is not gonna be an easy deck to win with. This is definitely some jank here. I'll be happy if we win any game. And honestly, if, if we can just get this combo to happen one time, I'm going to be super happy. We each hold a world within. Oh. 
A lot of our deck is kind of some nonsense. So that's what Meme Tier Monday is all about. Playing some nonsense. I guess I could have just played Deep Meditation for that 5 mana. Man, Sea Scarab is so good. So if I um, parlay and kill the Abyssal Eye, then they just get to... Um, let's put one of these back. If I do that, uh, then they get to, you know, toss two. Helps them go deep. Prefer not to do that immediately, if we have the option. Wow. That Lure of the Depths is a good card. Round two, Sea Scarab. Round three, Lure the Depths plus Sea Scarab. Round four, Abyssal Eye. Round five, Devour. That's pretty good. I think that's going to be a little bit better than our real janky meme tier deck. All right, doing this so I can have two spells cast. Oh, I already had the two spells cast, actually, with the, the Twist of Fate champion spell. All right. Well, still get two spells cast. Get some draglings for some blockers. What is gained when you return malevolence? Well, it looks like I know which two cards I'm playing this. <laughs> In case they have yet another devourer, which would have been a nightmare. Wanted to play that and gave the, give them priority first. Okay, so we have basically our, our whole combo. All right, we have more power, Dawn and Dusk, Karma. We had to wait an additional four rounds. And we need some way to damage their Nexus. So we're not 100% there yet, but we got a lot of it. I guess I should not have played the Dancing Droplet again uh, for these Draglings, but I want to I want to have that anyway for the Homecoming. Karma's just making Homecoming for me. to nine. I guess we'll go and use one of these homecomings. They only have two cards. That's the thing about them having such a good hand is that they're um, kind of out of cards. played one spell so far. Alright, those were the bottom cards in our deck. Lost riches? Just make some treasures? It's like, sure, why not? Go make some treasures. Oh yeah, I don't know why I'm not attacking with the elusives. I guess I could definitely be doing that. I 
I don't have any good reason why I'm not doing that. But not playing the Twisted Fate, kind of just leaving some more blockers. Or like, you know, leaving room for these blockers. The Twisted Fate red card is a guaranteed way to deal damage to their Nexus. We have the entire combo. It's just what kind of interaction are they going to have, right? Because you know they can they can definitely interact with it. Do we just go for it, or do we wait around and maybe they do other stuff? Man, I'm so nervous about just going for the combo, but I, I don't know because they could just have any kind of interaction whatsoever, and they stop us. I'm gonna wait around. Soak it in. We did burn one deny, but there is another deny in the deck. <laughs> cool, glad you're enjoying the Aurelia Zero deck, Dan. Yeah, that deck's incredibly good. We each hold a world within. So they haven't. What is gained when you return malevolence? That does make my life a little easier. They're not playing anything, which is kind of saying that they have interaction, right? Because they're not playing anything else. Wait, eight. So 13. Gotta go with the flow. Ugh, I don't know if I should go for it or not. I just kind of feel like I, we don't have to. I already burned, like, the one Dawn and Dusk, unfortunately. They're down to just two cards left in their deck. Is this Maokai plus Nautilus? Oh, this is Maokai plus Nautilus. We haven't seen any champions. You gotta imagine... We haven't seen a champion yet, have we? So how many champions do they have in their deck? Did I just draw a karma? Hopefully, yes. I just drew a karma. Wow, that was like the best. That was the only good card for us to draw. All right, so it's probably about time to go for it. Probably, because they probably just have a whole bunch of champions, right? Like, what else could they have? It's the last card in their deck, right there. So I can pass, they gotta play something, otherwise they lose. The water rises. I guess I should have played more powder first though, because you, you know that they're gonna just go Nautilus on the Karma. But of course, if they go Nautilus on the Karma, then I don't mill out either. So like, we both don't mill out. Oh, but that puts those cards back into their deck, okay. Okay, let's see. This is... Man, this game's so weird. 
where I've been scared to do stuff. So basically kind of considering that they would probably tuck the karma. They tuck that? They tuck that? So now there are just two cards left? Alright, so they could have they could have Vile Feast. Breathe out. But it's not likely they have Vile Feast, right? Vile Feast can't be that likely. Oh, I guess they could have they could have another Devourer Depths in hand right now. I want to be able to really stop Devourer Depths. Come on, just don't have either. Just let, let me do it. Yeah. Alright, good. Alright, I don't know what's gonna happen here. 64? Okay. So yeah, it does, it does, every single one of these does double. Oh my gosh, please let this happen, opponent. 64 powder kegs? Let's go. So they can have Val Vile Feast or Devour if they do, if they have either of those, yeah, then, then Parley. Pass, pass, pass. Yes! No devour, no deal 65 to anything. <laughs> Big flex in 65. No, you don't have they had vile feast, they did! Wow, what a jerk. After all the emotes. They had they just had vile feast after they're emoting like that? What a jerk. What a jerk. The monster. But okay, so we now we found out that our our combo deck does work. The plan is now mill them out, which isn't an easy plan. But that is the plan. We go down to one card after this. How can I mill them when they can replay Nautilus every round? Because if they can't kill me, you know, like they won't be able to attack with these elusives at all. Because like the elusives, right? So then like maybe they just can't kill me. Because if we have if we have karmas, like because we're we have infinite karmas, right? So we're gonna have infinite karmas, which means infinite spells. And if they just draw, like drawing one Maokai each round doesn't beat infinite spells from karmas. So like, I, yeah, like we have that game. Yeah, Red Reed, it's, cause it's been a solved game for the last couple of months. I'm expecting that to change quite a bit in, at the end of the month, we're gonna have a huge balance patch change and new, new expansion. So I'm expecting that to change quite a bit and people will probably be coming back yeah, I really wanted that 65 to go off. Now, it would have been times two, right? It would have been only the first one, because then, then the powder kegs go up, so it would have been 65 and then one. That's why you need warning shot instead of parlay, right? If we would have had warning shot, we would have got him. Okay, uh, let's see. Kindred, we'll keep Dancing Droplet, Twisted Fate. What's up, Ivad? <laughs> Pocket says that I'm having the most powerful meme week in history. <laughs> Thanks, Pockets. Yeah, we're we're doing some cool stuff over here. Ah, uh, opponent's going hard. I should have waited a round. Wait. I mean, I don't get the attack on round one, but obviously with our deck, that doesn't really matter. So they're gonna be a go hard deck. Go hard's good against Powder Keg. The dark beckons. They cannot hide. Shall we, Earwolf? I'm ready, little lamb. Never 
never lost a fair game or played one. Should probably be blue card. But I do have a lot of cards already in hand. I was thinking that maybe if we get uh, two damage on it, and then, you know, like get another Twist of Fate gold card, we get the other two damage in on it. Take that. Holy partner. I like that thing just being gone for good instead of homecoming bounce it now. They could punish us with a rekindler. But we'll see. Rekindler would definitely punish us. Okay, good, good. Okay, found first combo piece. Second combo piece. We have basically our whole combo, we just need like a warning shot. Now we do have like a Mega Rain that can deal damage to them. I of course have too many cards in hand. Currently. I probably just shouldn't really worry about leveling up Twisted Fate. Yeah, I think we need to keep Deny to, to protect our combo. Gotta trust your instincts. So it's just, you know, retreat, return. But I don't know which one of these to retreat, return. I guess it's just the Twisted Fade. Twisted Fate will... Um, distract the opponent more. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. The Sprayfin, though, how it tutors the card, you know, like, Sprayfin does a... a has a better chance of finding warning shot for us. So that that would have been the reason to take Sprayfin. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. Looks like trouble. Cool. Two deny. I like seeing two deny. I'm not going to draw the next card. We have too many cards in hand. I could just throw the Make a Rain away. Then I wouldn't have Deny available. I guess I think we're just going to burn the top card. Hey, Parlay kind of helps our combo. It better not be Warning Shot. Yes, yeah, so I play the audience sometimes. We'll do. I'll do um, 1v1 challenges for the... People can do them with donations or with um, channel points. Yeah, they're just passing because I have all the cards. And so the onus is kind of on me to do stuff. Um, so this is eight, nine total mana. So I can I can do the combo plus have one deny available, but that doesn't seem very likely that it's going to work. I have kind of two opportunities at the combo. Man, I kind of have nothing to do. I'm gonna play this card. What did they... What did I burn? I don't know, what, what card did I burn from drawing for turn that I couldn't keep in my hand? Shadow Assassin? Okay. Can't use homecoming. So the good news about 
that ice shard is, you know, that's that's out of their hand. That's ice shard's a, a card that answers the combo. Oh, I can't even stun. It has to stun an enemy. I can't even stun my own stuff. Alright, we can get this card out of our hand. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. These games are so strange. Okay, so we can try our, our combo twice now with, um, you know, try it once with deny backup and try it a second time with deny backup. So I guess we just start with the first one now. Might as well, right? I don't have the warning shot though to Love it, yes. Okay. They are a Go Hard deck. So they could definitely have Go Hard, but Go Hard's so I can't stop Go Hard. If I had if I had Warning Shot instead of Parlay, we would kill them through Go Hard, but here we go, here's the test. Do they have Go Hard? Because if they don't, they're dead. Sixty-four powder kegs. They passed? No go hard. 65? 65 is a lot of damage. Boom. That's a parlay right there. <laughs> we did it. GG's. <laughs> Lemmy goes, just tuned in for the first time to see a 65 damage parlay. What a time to be alive. Karma Keg. Make them go boom. So this is our combo right here. These three cards. Warning Shot, More Powder, um, Dawn and Dusk. But we're going to send that all back, of course. Because we don't need that for another 20 turns. <laughs> Meme Dear Monday getting spicy. Alright. Time to pass. That's very good. Yes. Right? 
Yeah, I think, yeah, this would do 65 damage to a unit and then 65 damage to them as well, yes. I don't think so. What'd you think? You were gonna catch the sky? Nah. No better. In case of another rock hopper, roiling sands type thing, just went ahead and played that. Well, the good news is they don't have that plus three, plus one for attacking me, I suppose. That's the good news. But it's not going to necessarily be easy to be turning on at these dragolings. I guess I'm blocking. I don't love it. But I guess that's what I'm doing. <laughs> of course, Gordak. Of course, this deck's working. Duh, Karma Kegs. We're just doing 65 damage to to him. So there's the four mana spell that uh, you know stun deal three. That's why I didn't want to drop the Karma. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. 65 damage parlays. That card. Cease. Pilfer goods could be interesting. I need to go for some pilfer goods. Chip Zenith Bleed? I'm playing this, of course, so it can be my second spell for these draglings. So I don't really need to play the chip. Because we're going to have two draglings. Stand United. That's a cool card. I need some homecomings for these malfights. I just deny this unstoppable force, I guess. Reconsider. So I can't protect the combo, but we can still go for it, but I can't really protect it. They probably don't have like that much interaction though for, for the combo, right? My spirit is an unquenchable fire. Like they have like the stun card that does three, but that's kind of about it that they probably have, right? Yeah, I can't. I don't have the mana to stand united. Oh, if I would have just played more powder, 
I would have played more powder at the end of last round. Would have only been 32 powder kegs, but I mean, that still would have been perfectly fine. No, because I, I still, no, I wouldn't have the mana for that anyway. So yeah, I, I just don't have the mana for Stand United also. Plus, I don't, I don't have like a direct damage thing to them besides Make It Rain, so I have to just get lucky that the Make It Rain actually hits their Nexus. <laughs> oh, Hush. Oh, Hush. Yeah, Hush is annoying. Just go for it. Oh, they hushed Karma. Well, we're not going to be able to get it done this round. Just getting a card out of my hand. I don't have any denies left in the deck. We've already played both our denies. I mean, if I if I more powder, it doesn't really make sense to more powder right now. So I more if I more powder right now, they just lead with the with the unstoppable force. I can't just like then play Dawn and Duskrack because we take lethal. Um, so that doesn't really make sense to do that. Another Mega Rain could be very useful. Perfectly fine. Stop I'm glad we've gotten two hushes out of their out of their hand. That's two hushes down. Third hush down. Okay, so we're gonna need to have this hit you know, either the three one or the two one. But if I if I only cast this, then and pass, and if it doesn't, we lose. I obviously have the other make it rain, but the problem with using the other make it rain is that then I don't have combo anymore. And so I need that other make it rain to win. That's the problem with using this other one, is that otherwise we have to we kinda need that other make it rain. Oh Alright. Going for both Mega Rains. Which it looks like the first this this one would have killed the two one. They had another plus three plus one to kill us. Man, so they had all three hush in their hand. All three copies of hush. In their hand. Yes, whoa. So another Hush deck. They don't have like a ton of removal and stuff, but Hush is going to be like their answer to my Powder Kegs in the late game. <sighs> Our hand's good, but it's super duper slow. It's Mulligan Karma. I guess Brafen too. Can't really just keep multiple four mana things in hand, I don't think, at the very beginning of the game. Yeah, Yasuo with all the stun to kill kegs would be a problem. I'm glad not seeing the blade twirler on round two, because you know that that speeds up their clock. Quite a bit. Clad in shining sunlight. So I'm glad we don't see that immediately. Devotion through battle. Ooh, no Yasuo. Blessing. Deal me in. Blue 
has the serpent. We need more cards. Follow the wind, but watch your back. I mean, I could more powder make it rain and try to do some damage to Yasuo with that. Like a fish in water. <laughs> Pretty sure they're gonna have deny though, and I'd have to like more powder, then make it rain, then make it rain again. Just some shenanigans like that. At least that doesn't pop the powder kegs. My kind of lessons. So that's good. They'd still potentially have some Mega Rains next round. I will play my part. Welcome to try. We had like a burst speed deal one damage to a unit. Brother, what have you become? If I told you, would you listen? Mm -hmm. No, I'm just gonna let that happen. Master. Deal me in. Something for all. Yes. Boom. Well, that was sweet. The blade above all. All right, get that card draw in. What is gained when you return malevolence? Well, that worked out fairly well, Breathe as far out. as what was possible. Breathe out. Ooh. Okay. Well, this has worked out fairly well. Got rid of that Yasuo. Mm. Man, do I just do it again? More powder, make it rain. Draggling, I gotta throw away the warning shot. Which I don't want to do. We don't need a draggling. Sunk cost. Yeah, that's a pretty sunk cost. Shining gifts from the sky. Why are you slow speed? I have to block this 5-4 just in case, and I'm not sure which one to block it with. I'm kind of thinking, 0 5 6 7 Unless it's you. Okay, okay. Silent as death. I only played one spell again. Ugh. I guess I can just throw away one of these. Yeah, that, that can just be a second spell. 
Alright, that works. Yeah, that works. So I want the second spell, of course, for the Deep Meditation. And also for the Eye of the Dragon. Boom ship. Peace begins within. What is gained when you return malevolence? Okay. So we have the combo ability. Now you'd have to assume that they would interact with the combo because they are Ionia and Targon. So you have to assume that they'd have something to stop the combo. I can just throw this attacker out there. Start there. Chosen of the sun, a shining wall. To shine like the sun, you must burn like it. The sun's splendor reveals. Well, they are down to four lives, so it's not like I have to do sixty five damage. I kind of only have to do 4 damage. So unless they hush these powder kegs immediately. A warning shot through the heart. We'll get it done. Warning shot to the heart. Boom! Sometimes you just need 5, not 65. And so, like, that's Hush is the reason why we didn't just, like, go for it with the Dawn and Dust to have more fun, you know, and just try it out, but. Aw, oh, Rose, yeah, you wanted the, you wanted the, yeah, you wanted our best shot. Hit him with your best shot. We just hit him with an average shot, not our best shot. This is because of Hush. Because, you know, we had the guaranteed win by casting it there. <laughs> Zero mana, Mega Decimate. Um, Aurelia Azir. This is going to be tough. Let's see how we do against the fast aggro. Just like we pressed. Get a warning shot. Or wait, this is Mega Rain. Whatever. Sorry, I had a warning shot on my mind after last game. Get a Mega Rain. Hey, Deep Free. Um, yeah, so you said just came back after playing for six months. There's tons of new champions and everything. And saying, you know, like, what would you recommend? Um, honestly, right now, I don't have a good recommendation. First, first, everybody likes different playing different things and, and stuff like that. So, um, you know, it's hard to like me have me recommend a deck for you because you know, like everybody likes different things like that. Just like that's always a, a kind of a thing. But right now is tough to recommend because what am I gonna do? Am I gonna do I want a homecoming? Because next week, yeah. So yeah, recommendations wait a week because next week we're gonna have a very basically a week from today is gonna be announced a very big balance patch change where tons and tons of cards are gonna be changing. And the metagame's going to change a lot. And then the day after that, we're going to have a new expansion with, with a lot of new cards and everything, too. So it's it's really just too hard to say, um, you know, what to invest in right now because of all that. Yeah, my, oppo my opponent is playing in normal and has no chill. No chill normal. I don't really have a good play. I guess I'm... Like, do I red card? I don't really have, like, red card, gold card. Mm. Pass. So, yeah, so that, that's why I don't really want to recommend anything right now, because we don't know what's going to happen. We just know a lot of, a lot of things are going to change. And so what those things are, we don't know. So keep hanging out, watching videos, you know, learning, keep learning, you know, um, and all that kind of stuff, and then, uh, you know, let's see what happens with the balance patch next week. Everything's better with company. Says you. Yeah, says you.
I'll just record right away. Something for all. So they should be using return on the Aurelia, you think. I'm gonna parlay here and make it rain, which I guess I should make it rain first, do one more damage to them, but whatever. All right, so they're still gonna have the sparring students. And another random card. Deny. Okay, they got a couple of those. Charmed, I'm sure. No, I can just hold on to this dancing droplet. It saves three life when I'm at 17, and they have one card in hand. That doesn't seem like the most useful thing. Boom ship. I'm down for a good boom ship. Left foot, left foot. Our proudest days remain ahead. Debatable. Gotta go with the flow. I assume you can retreat Powder Keg back to your hand, right? Sounds like something you should be able to do. All in the shoulders. But we're not going to do that. We're going to find our other... That means I don't get to play the Twisted Fate this round. Ooh, I love seeing that. Onward, Golden Warriors! Did he even challenge the powder kegs? Why are you here? Yeah, why are you here if you're not challenging powder kegs? I gotta wait two more rounds before we're enlightened. Sweet. The dark beckons. Cool. Night falls. All right, so next round. We shall be enlightened. So they don't draw anything that good. Heart and mind as one. Yeah, I could. Yeah, I could use the two mana keg and then and then twisted fate and then kill the four or five. But that's just not worth it. We're like we're we're about to, okay. So I wanted I needed to hold twisted fate to be able to um, have something that kills them. But now that we drew this warning shot, warning shot can kill them. So. We good. We good. So now we'll just red card this, and the game is over. No, 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 no! Let me do it! Why didn't they let me combo? No! We were gonna combo that turn. 
We had we had we had our three card combo, 65 damage to the face. They didn't let me do it. Ugh. I that's why I even blocked with the twisted fate to try to make them feel better. Right? Like that's that's why I did that. <laughs> and so like maybe they wouldn't just concede immediately. Oh man, we were we just beat Aurelia Azir and we were gonna do 65 damage to the face. Dude, I can't believe our Karma Keg deck did so well. It was just normal, of course. Not ranked, you know, it's meme tier. But still going 4-1. I thought that this was going to be pretty janky, but it actually worked out really well. And like our Dawn and Dusk, uh, more pod, more powder combo happened quite a bit. Yeah, this is this was a really nice meme deck right there. With our, our one-shot kills with Dawn and Dusk. That was pretty cool. Wow, all right, so there we go. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Feel free to leave those comments and you know, let me know. Hopefully y'all really enjoyed this one. This was a pretty awesome meme tier deck. Um, I don't think I'd really necessarily change anything. You know, everything did pretty well, right? Like it all performed exactly like we wanted it to. We had the droplet retreat homecoming part of the deck helping to draw cards. We had Shadow Assassin, Sprayfin, Twisted Fate, all that drawing cards, Deep Meditation. And yeah, you just... Just try to stay alive, draw cards, and set up your one-turn kill later on in the game. All right, but that's going to be it here for Karma Kegs. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.